Hi everybody, uh, I am doing a video review for Linux Mint Debian Edition. Um, before I get into the review, uh, you're looking at the desktop right now, I wanted to talk about the install. Um, I, I'm not going to do the install because it's boring and I don't want to make you sit through it. If you're looking at this video on the desktop Linux review site, then that means you can just pull up, uh, you can click the drop down menu and look at the install screenshots and it will walk you through uh, the install from beginning to end. The install is actually pretty easy but at one point you have to do a little bit of partitioning and that might throw off some new users. Um, thankfully uh, the Debian edition of Linux Mint is also um, a live DVD so you can just burn it to, D to a DVD and then uh, boot up in your computer and actually use it without installing it. So, you know, bear that in mind. Um, the file I downloaded was about 917 megs, so it's too big for a CD, so you have to use a DVD. Um, but the install isn't isn't that bad and uh, is certainly doable, especially if you've already installed uh, the Ubuntu version. Let me talk very briefly before I get into the uh, looking at the desktop. Um, what are the differences between the Debian edition and the, the Ubuntu edition? Um, well, the Debian edition is a rolling release. You don't need to keep installing upgrades. You can just upgrade it easily from the upgrade manager. With Ubuntu, you've got to download another version and install it usually. Uh, so it, it's less of a headache. Um, the other thing is some people simply don't like Ubuntu. They don't like what Canonical is doing and they don't want to use Ubuntu. I personally don't have a problem with Ubuntu or Canonical. The company that makes it, I think that they've done a good job. Um, and you know, if you don't like it, that's cool. Now you've got the Debian edition; you can just run that instead of uh, the Ubuntu version. But I, you know, I actually like the Ubuntu version. So, anyway, let me, let's begin the review. Um, if you look, the first thing you see here is the Welcome to Linux Mint menu. Now, if you've used it before, you're, you're not going to really care about this. But if you're new to Linux Mint, I highly recommend looking at some of the documentation, the forums, the tutorials. Just it will help you familiarize yourself with Linux Mint so that you're not kind of uh, having to sort of blunder around and you know wonder what's going on if, if you haven't used it before. Um, let me start by talking about some of the new features here. We've got a um, one of the new things is the uh, backup manager, which is. Where is it now? I've got to figure out which menu it is in. Uh, it's very cool, and if you haven't used a, um, oh, there it is, maybe under administration. Uh, if you haven't used a backup tool before, or you're one of the people that thinks your hard drive will never fail, boy, are you in for a rude awakening. Um, I've had it happen. I highly recommend using the backup manager in Linux Mint Debian because sooner or later your hard drive is going to fail and you'll be screwed. By the way, if you hear a bird in the background, that's my parrot Bilbo. I apologize for the noise, but he always does this when I'm talking, so you have to bear bear with it. Um, anyway, so the, the new backup tool is very cool. Um, it tracks the software that you've installed. It makes it very easy uh, to restore your data and you know it could save you in the event of a disaster. Um, and you can install your, you know, your software selection on a different computer. Um, you know, it'll perform incremental restorations and backups, and you know, you can compress and archive on the fly. So it's a very helpful tool. I highly recommend that you uh, spend a little time familiarizing yourself with it if you haven't used it before. Um, there's also a new um, uh, desktop settings tool, and I want to draw this. To your attention for one big reason. Um, first of all, it's pretty self-explanatory about you know what you can change. Um, but one of the things that people have complained about with the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint um, has been uh, you know how the buttons have been laid out uh, over to the left, you know the title bar buttons. And um, in Linux Mint, it's very nice because you can change it to the right or to the left, whichever you prefer. I don't mind it on the left, it doesn't bother me. I own a couple of Macs, so I'm used to having buttons on the left. But boy, it really pissed off some people who were using the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint. Uh, so anyway, the Linux Mint developers, in their wisdom, have made it very simple and easy to uh, 
you know, to change that. So bear that in mind when you, uh, uh, you know, you use it. Um, so let me take a look at the software manager. That's one of the next big new features. And um, it's basically been rewritten from the ground up. There are about 30,000 applications available or packages as they're called in Linux. Um, and obviously everything is broken down into categories. So it's very easy or you can search if you want. Um, I recommend browsing the featured categories. There's a lot of good applications here. Um, some of the more popular ones are, are all listed here for you. Um, it doesn't take long to find the stuff. Uh, once you find an application that you want, you can, uh, first of all, you can look to see how many reviews, and you can read, read these reviews by other, other users, and they're rated from one to five stars, so it'll give you an idea of whether the application sucks or not, and save you the time of installing it. If you want to install it, you simply just click and type in your password and it will start to install it for you. Um, takes two seconds. You can also um, go back while it's installing and look at another application. Um, if you decide you want to remove something, you just click the remove button and type in your password and it will take the application off for you. Uh, the, the, the software manager is, is really, really, really good and highly recommend spending some time uh, poking around in it because, you know, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm a software junkie, so I love finding different programs, and I always find that, for me, you know, more is, is better a lot of the time. <laughs> Even if I don't use the application, I feel better having it on my system, you know? So there's a lot of stuff there that you can um, uh, look at. Um, one other thing that you might want to do is to go over to the Linux Mint site. Um, let me close this here. I'll show that in a second. Oh, it's going to start. Before you watch, let's go over to the Linux Mint site. Okay, we'll go to the community site and uh, take a look at what. Wait a minute, where is it? Up here. There we go. Uh, we'll take a look at the, the Linux Mint community site very briefly here. Um, if it loads, we'll take a look at it. Um, I recommend looking at the, the Linux Mint community site because um, you can see what other users are saying and you know kind of connect to them and it, it's a good it's a good tool especially if you're new to Linux Mint. Um, one of the other things um, that uh, you might want to be aware of is that Linux Mint ships with uh, multimedia codecs installed so you don't have to install stuff if you want to run DVDs I'm assuming it's legal where you are if, you're, if it's not legal you shouldn't you know you shouldn't use it or whatever but uh, in this case, I've um, over a double rainbow. I just want to I've you. You can push pulled up a um, committed to creating Lady jobs. Gaga video. Hopefully, it will start in a minute. But anyway, basically, the point of showing you this video is that uh, Flash is already installed for you, so you don't have a problem when you want to run YouTube videos or whatever. And you can see Lady Gaga running here; she looks good. Uh, so Linux Mint makes it very easier, easy for multimedia stuff. You don't have to go through a lot of headache. Uh -huh. Let me close that out. And in terms of bundled multimedia apps, there's some pretty good stuff in here. Um, certainly enough to get you started, especially VLC. Um, and there's tons more if you go over to the uh, software manager. There's you know 240 other packages available here. So if you're a multimedia freak, you'll you know you'll love it. You've got plenty of stuff to work with. Um, let me see what else we want to show you here. Go back here. And you can see that the, the application that I installed, uh, which was Chromium, um, is now on my system. And here it is up here in the menu. So it, it, it's that easy to uh, install and manage software. Uh, very simple stuff. Um, so I'm looking at this, and one of the nice things about Linux Mint is the tools that it comes with. And of course, you've got the, the menu here, which some people don't like. I actually like it. I actually prefer it very much to some of the other menuing systems I've seen. Uh, but you know, you can uh, you know you can change it so the favorites load up and change your monitor resolution, all that stuff. So there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, and uh, in terms of software, bundled software, you know that it comes with. Um, it, there's a fair amount of applications already installed when you first boot into your desktop. 
I tend to think, you know, open office and, and all the rest of it, I tend to think there's plenty for most people. But again, if you need more, just go to the software manager and, you know, you can uh, pick up a lot of stuff. You can add other software repositories if you want. Um, I personally, if I'll just show you real quick here, uh, you can pull up the software sources list and if you, uh, you know, really want to, you can add another repository. I personally don't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing because you don't want to screw up your system. And also, why would you need it? I mean, there's 30,000 packages in the software managers. There's so much there that, um, you know, it, it's just kind of pointless to go through that and um, install a bunch of junk you really don't need. Um, so let me see what else do I want to show you here real quick. Um, close that down for one sec. Uh, getting a little crabby on me. Um, basically, I, I have to say that uh, the Debian edition is really um, my favorite version of Linux Mint. I, I still like the Ubuntu versions. You know, I, I still install them. I, I always write reviews, and, and they're always good. I never really have a whole lot of problems with them. Um, but the Debian edition is really nice because I don't have to bother with the upgrades, and uh, I don't also, you know, have to sort of deal with whatever Canonical is doing at that particular time. So it's really become my favorite. And I, I do recommend it for, uh, usually for intermediate and advanced Linux users. Beginners can certainly use it, but, you know, the install is a little bit different than the Ubuntu version, um, and it may throw uh, some of the newer people off. But, you know, like I said, it's a live DVD, so you can uh, boot it in, boot onto the DVD and, and try it without actually installing it. So anyway, I've rambled on a little bit. This is the first video review. I'm going to be adding other video reviews on uh, desktop Linux reviews. I hope you found this useful. And uh, that's Linux Mint Debian Edition. That's it.